Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3306. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, the peak number of players hit the highest for over four years. Cohen Leth takes a look at alternate fleet carriers. And Frontier State, they will be releasing information on upcoming changes to beta very soon. The storm around fleet carriers continues to rage, with numerous people making many different criticisms about them, and most of them are actually warranted. Now, Frontier are well aware of all of this and have stated they are about to release some information with upcoming changes to the beta. Now, there's no clear indication of when these changes will go into place, but they have said that they will be revealing this information this week. So hopefully this pertains to the most common uh, issues really, which would be upkeep, the lack of universal carter graphics, as well as the spool up time for the jump drive. But these aren't even the tip of the iceberg. Hopefully Frontier will also be discussing the numerous other issues. In fact, I don't think it's unreasonable or even unfair to say that almost every element of fleet carriers has, in one way or another, come in for criticism. Although that said, it's debatable how much of that is actually warranted. But I will be discussing this in an upcoming video, so do keep an eye out for that. Meanwhile though, do check out the links in the video description where you can find some information, some links to videos, uh, forum posts and Reddit posts basically discussing the current state of fleet carriers. Now, despite all of these issues surrounding fleet carriers, it does seem that the update, the beta, has attracted a huge volume of players. Steam Charts shows a peak of over 15,000 concurrent players this weekend, and this is the highest since December 2015, which was the release of Horizons. So a lot of people interested in the game, a lot of people perhaps playing due to the various lockdowns around the world, there was also a sale over the weekend for Elite Dangerous and indeed other Frontier games, but even with all that, it seems fleet carriers are a huge attraction for players. How many of these players actually stay around after the beta is ended? We'll have to wait and see, but hopefully it's going to be a decent percentage. Sticking with the subject of fleet carriers for now, Commander Cohen Leth has spent some time travelling around the inhabited galaxy, at this time looking for variants on fleet carriers. Now these can be found at the dry docks in fleet carrier service systems or fleet carrier vendor systems, and they show a bunch of different types of fleet carriers. So Cohen Leth went ahead and put together some top town views of these carriers, which you can see on screen right now. And if you want to see the full image, the original image, then do have a look at the link in the video description. Now, whilst these variants on fleet carriers are not currently available to players, it makes sense that these may well be cosmetic purchases. And if you want a more in-depth look at each of these, then do check out the recent video from YouTuber Burpit. You can see a link again in the video description. Now, whether or not there's any functional differences between these fleet carriers is completely unknown, but I suspect that is unlikely, and these are actually cosmetic visual differences only. But what does seem apparent is that at least a few elements from these different fleet carriers are taken from the idea of the support ships that Frontier showed off last year, and you can see some screenshots on the screen right here of those support ships. And regarding those support ships themselves, Frontier have confirmed that these were scrapped in favour of fully customisable fleet carriers, but it seems that some of the assets at least have made it over in one form or another. The Elite Dangerous subreddit, easily the largest Elite Dangerous community, recently hit 200,000 subscribers. Now, if you're new to Elite Dangerous and you're interested in looking for a community, then you could do a lot worse than heading on over to Reddit. You can find a link in the video description, of course, and in order to celebrate this massive achievement, they are doing a bunch of giveaways. This includes things such as Elite Dangerous inspired paint jobs. Now if you want to get involved then do head on over to the respective Reddit thread which you can find linked below. And of course congratulations to the subreddit team for hitting this milestone. And finally this last part not specifically related to Elite Dangerous but it is related to space games. If you're interested in picking up a new space game then check out the Humble Bundle store which has a space game theme to sell on right now. I have included a link in the video description. If you're interested in checking it out, please do use that link. It is an affiliate one. For now then, that pretty much brings us to an end of this episode of 3306. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.